guys so we made it it's been very eventful i managed to lose my phone <laughs> so we're at the hotel now it is about um 11 o'clock so i'm going for a walk and i lost my phone so we have to come back to the hotel and luckily i left it here it is really warm here the hotel's really nice I had to pump. I bought my breast pump with me. I did order a EV pump. They're so expensive, but I ordered one because I thought I could just put it in my bra as I walk around. But it didn't come on time. It's arrived today, and I'm not home, so I got this with me. You can see. So I've already pumped. I need to wash it out. We can't check into our room until three o'clock, so we've got a few more hours left. But I'm so excited, guys, because it's so warm. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be so warm, and the flights here were so cheap. Um, it's like almost 30 degrees here, so I'm looking forward to taking my clothes off and putting on a dress and some sandals and getting out. But we have to wait to get into our room because I didn't pack a dress in my bag. I wasn't thinking. I was a bit nervous um, about leaving the boys. I didn't really want to go. So I think that's what was distracting me. And I've only had an hour. It took us an hour and 15 minutes to get there. And I, that's the only sleep that I've had. <laughs> so I'm a bit delirious. So I'm in um, like a library area in the hotel reception. It's pretty, pretty nice. I'm not sure how much of today I'm going to film because it feels a bit hectic. Um, but I will definitely capture all of tomorrow because we're hoping to go to the Monte Carlo Casino. But yeah, let me show you this reception. I do feel a bit chunky, but I did give birth to twins about six weeks ago, so I've got an excuse. But this is the library area, and here it's so quiet, but that's outside down there, and they've got books here. Now I find my phone. We're gonna find some victory. Who do you think I am? Don't you know that he was my man? Well, I chose to let him go, so why do you look like I still care about him? Looking at me like I'm her. When I'm the one who said I didn't want it to work. Don't you forget. Made it into our room. Excuse my appearance, I look so tired, but I haven't got any makeup on at all. Just wanted to show you guys how much milk i've been able to get out of one boob my boobs are aching so much and it is going to kill me kill me to throw this away because this is like gold dust i really wish there was a way i could store it but i have to get rid of it so that's going in the bin or down the drain and then i'm going to pump again so we're probably going to go out and eat i think i showed you guys what we were just eating it was not good <laughs> it was bad and we waited so long we were there for two hours so we've decided we're gonna go to Burger King because <laughs> at least it's familiar and we know what we're gonna get so we're probably gonna stop at Burger King I don't know if I'm still hungry but babe's hungry so he can have that and I'm gonna get some ice cream I want some ice cream and some water and I think I'll be okay we are in our room so I'll show you. Will I show you? I'll show you. We're only here for one night, so this is the bed. Hold on. The bed. And then down there is where you come in. There's a TV. And then on this side, there's a balcony. And you can go outside. I'll take you outside. And you can see that we're beside a, a, a cathedral. I don't know, you can't see it from here, but from outside you can see the cathedral. And then up there is all of the shopping area. We had lunch there. Would not recommend, go somewhere else. <laughs> the service wasn't bad. It was just really, really slow. So we were there for so long and then the food wasn't nice. So it was a bit of a... A bit of an anticlimax. We we'll make our way for, to Monaco quite early tomorrow. Hopefully, we have to go to check. We've got to check out at eleven. I think the last time I left you guys, I said that I was gonna go in the shower, 
and then we were gonna go out we didn't go in the shower the plan was to kind of go for a walk and stop at the supermarket pick up some snacks and stuff like that and then come back and then go out for dinner it's about seven o'clock now we've been walking for all that time we did end up going to zara and i picked up a couple of things let me show you to be honest we've almost been up for 48 hours of no sleep so the chances of us falling asleep and waking up and going out again are probably very slim i'm a bit bummed because i did have a nice outfit to wear and i kind of wanted to film some content and i wanted to take some pictures and i had very lofty ideas about what i was going to do with my time because the streets are so beautiful and it's such nice weather but none of it's happened but i picked up this blue bodysuit and i thought it was cute because it's got like slits at the neck and at the back i've actually not seen anything of this style before and it was on sale for nine nine euros and 99 cents or nine euros 99 down from 15.95 and then i got this orange top which really reminds me of a house of cb top that i tried that i sent back that i actually want to order again but i saw this crop top in this orange and it's like a plunge neck but it's cropped if you can see I think it's really cute i have tried this on it is too, a bit too small at the moment my my boobs are huge so, so um yeah but i'm hoping sometime before the summer ends i'll be able to wear this comfortably i have booked us dinner at a restaurant called blue bay i've never heard of them before what drew me to it is that it is caribbean it's like a caribbean mixed menu and it's Michelin starred. When I came across it, I was like, oh my gosh, you're speaking to me. We have to go there. I have a dress, an old poly dress. So I'm thinking of wearing that. I'm feeling a bit self-conscious, guys, just slightly. <laughs> self-conscious about my stomach because my, st my stomach's still protruding a bit. And so I do have some Spanx that I want to try to wear underneath it. So I'm going to see how it goes tomorrow see if i can find a way to finesse that dress so we're walking to the train station and it's hot so <laughs> we've had to stop we've had to pause i bought this dress guys you'll see it in a haul and i hate it i've kept it but i've decided i don't like it because look at how it folds at the front i don't know if you can see but i'll show you guys later it kind of doesn't fold properly oh no the police in the back <laughs> So we're walking to the station and then we're going to go to Monaco. Probably should have caught a cab to the station. Didn't really cross my mind because the station's only five minute walk away. But it's really, really warm. So probably should have done that. I'm trying to stay like a little bit cute. And I don't know how it's going because I'm melting. This is the train station. <laughs> definitely, definitely should have got a taxi. I'm dying. I've learned a few things um, that I'm going to remember for next time or one of which is that I need to make sure that I bring um, lids for the bottles of the breast pump because where do you put the milk after you've pumped it <laughs> so I had that issue but now we're just walking 
out of the station and we're gonna get an Uber. We could walk there because it's about three minute walk. It's not far at all, but I just feel like I can't cope. It's so warm, so we'll have to see. Okay, so we checked for an Uber and they don't have it. So I wanna call the hotel and ask them if they can send us a taxi or like if we can request one or where do we go across the road here they've got a steak steak and shake i'm hungry um and i want to show you where you have to walk but we've got our bags here so i don't want to step away from our bags but i'm going to show you quickly you can see the yachts and stuff from here basically there's like a road that goes upwards and at the top of the road is the hotel but it says it's an 18 minute walk. I thought it was like a four minute walk, but maybe that was because well, the last time we walked up there, I wasn't paying attention. But it's an eight minute walk and a four minute drive. I feel like we should just call the hotel. I'm not walking for 18 minutes, not in, not in the sun. The road has no shade at all. So I have to walk. I can't, I can't, I'll die. I'll, I'll implode. I can't do it. Let me show you. Okay, so the road we're supposed to walk up is there. I don't know if you guys can, let me zoom in. It's this road here. Oh, yeah, up there. And up there is Monte Carlo Casino and stuff. Is it still filming? It is, okay, <laughs> sorry. And then you can see all of the yachts and boats and stuff there. So we could walk up that hill and it could be right at the top of the hill, but I'm unwilling. You can see there's no shade. And then there's the steak and shake, which we might end up going to. And then the road that leads up here. I also received compliments on my bag. I'm wearing my little green one. You can see my boobs look huge. I'm unprepared, I wasn't ready. My boobs look huge. Um, but they do feel a bit better now because I was able to pump them. So we're just, anyway, we're, we're calling the hotel. I managed to get my way. So we're waiting for a taxi now. So, <laughs> the hotel can't just send us a taxi, apparently. But they told us where we can get one from. And so, I don't know. I think we're going to end up walking there, unfortunately. But guys, look at the view. I'm so excited. Look at the view. Look at the view. It is so beautiful. Hold on. Let me show you properly. Look at that. It looks like a picture. It is so pretty. So apparently the hotel's down the road here and we can get a taxi from somewhere here. So we're either going to hail a taxi or we're just going to walk down. The hotel said that because the um, train station has too many entrances and exits, they don't, I guess it's easy to get lost, I guess, if you're a taxi man. So they don't send, send one. But I love the view. I'm so excited. I really want to get on a boat. So we're going to see if we can make that happen. Okay, we made it to the hotel and there's a bit of a kerfuffle because there's a car here. <clears throat> okay, we've made it into the hotel. I'm trying for you guys. It's so hard to capture everything because we're moving so fast but basically we found our way to the hotel we found a taxi i think i showed you guys that for sure thank you um and so we wanted to go to nikki beach well the plan is to go to nikki beach but i couldn't see reservations on their website so i didn't make a reservation and now they're saying that the pool is full so we're going upstairs to try and find out if they're gonna let us, if there's a gap or if we can come back a bit later because we still haven't eaten. So even if they've got a bed available a bit later, then we can take it. But they put us in a room, the room's really nice. We didn't stop, so I'm gonna show you guys when we come back. And I got, the, I got the room on a really good deal. So I'm super proud of myself. But we're going upstairs now to see if we can get a reservation at the pool. And apparently no booze in the building, which I didn't know. So 
Although we have reservations, we're not going to go to Nobu, but that's, I guess, good to know for next time. Maybe next time we can eat at Nobu. I don't know what this is. Oh, actually, I do know what this is. This is um, the gardens. They have gardens. So our room has a little garden. Um, so I'll show you. But yeah, it's really nice. Ain't it cute? Oh, I'm excited. Okay, we're back in the room. So I wanted to show you. Hold on, let me start from here. So this is the bathroom. Ow! This is the bathroom. It's an actual pub, which I wasn't expecting, but there's a full side. Oh, there's a toilet here. Bidet. Yeah. This is the bed room. We've got two twin, two doubles, which is nice. Then we've got another mirror here. So you can see me again. And then the chair, which is pretty nice. And then, we're by a garden. How do you open the? How do you open the curtains? The garden is out here. There's a sunbed. There's a sunbed. So you can sun yourself if you want. And then the garden area. It's like a private garden. It's so nice. Would you have your phone? No. reservation but first we're at Blue Bay for dinner so before my battery goes dead I want to show you guys what it looks like because it is beautiful again so here you go dinner and then we went to Buddha Bar. I did get some pictures so I'll try to put those in. There might be music but basically we're at breakfast so I'll show you what breakfast looks like. It's very pretty again. It's outside. Even though I don't want to show emotions I'm hoping that the time to try and double back twice, but you have me running right back, back. I've been coming back to back, yeah. Play it by your neck, yeah. Say you arch your back. And we have about an hour before we have to check out. I was able to put a bit of concealer on, but guys, it's so hot that really wearing a full face of makeup really is not going to work. I wanted to go to the casino last night, but we were at that restaurant for three hours. I don't know. The... <sighs> we, were at the, we were at the restaurant for three hours. We ended up picking a 12 course menu, which I mean, when I say that out loud, three hours probably sounds like not unreasonable to eat 12 courses, but 
we anticipated being out there in like an hour and a half and we made friends at the pool so they were going to meet us at um the buddha bar and we told them that we'd get there for like uh 10 30. we moved our reservation tonight we said we'd be there around 10 30. and we didn't get there until half past 12 which was really unfortunate which was really unfortunate because they were waiting for us we felt so bad so um but we were able to stay there for a couple of for a little while i think we left there about half past one we stayed there for about an hour an hour and a half and then we came back to the room the buddha bar was okay it was like yeah it was just okay lots of older gentlemen looking for younger <laughs> younger women so interesting but um so we didn't get to go to the casino because i think the casino closes at midnight i think or something like that but we didn't end up going so i want to go and at least take a picture of the outside today it is very hot again so i think that walking around is not really gonna work for us we were gonna um get the train back to nice and then go to the airport from there but apparently for i think we met a couple yesterday who said that they uh i think they came straight here from the airport and it was about 50 euros i think which it's about seven euros to get the train and then I think from Nice, from our hotel, it was about 28 euros, I think, something like that. So it is a bit more expensive, but a bit more convenient because we can leave our bags here. So we are also considering, <laughs> I feel like I'm talking so much, but we are also considering going to Nikki Beach again, just because we're tired and it will give us an opportunity to lie down. I'm also slightly concerned that if I sit in the sun, I'm gonna get really sweaty and then we have to get on the plane. Let me show you guys my dress. I got this dress from ASOS. I really need two thing, two extra things this holiday has taught me is that I need a camera and I need a tripod because I used my phone all day yesterday and it's why I didn't end up getting, being able to get the evening for you guys because by the time we left the restaurant, I had 1% battery left. So yeah, I'm in the garden, or on the back, not the balcony, but on the terrace. Let me show you this dress. So this is the dress. I think it's so nice. I don't have a bra on. So I feel quite comfortable in this actually. I would keep it on, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get, I don't think I'd be comfortable getting on a plane with it on, so I'm gonna change. But it's really cute. I'm gonna jump in the shower now. I would show you the room, but it's, it's a mess. <laughs> so I'm gonna jump in the shower and start packing. I've got about 45 minutes, gotta be quick. So we've gone for a walk and we just saw the casino I think I showed you guys if not I'll put it in here and I'm melting <laughs> again so we've managed to find the shopping area but everything's closed because it's Sunday which is really unfortunate so we're sitting outside of Fukada here and there's a few other places a few other nice shops here so next time that we come we're definitely gonna have to come here even if it's not to buy anything, but to browse or whatever, because it's really nice. So the Louis Vuitton shop is there. You can kind of see. And then um, I think that's Cartier down there, and then Prada's here. And then you can see there's a sign here that tells here here Sorry. that tells you where everything is. Um, Bulgari, I think, is at the end. But you can see that is. There's also some shops up there, but you can see it's really hot. So all of this sunshine is what I'm trying to run away from. <laughs> so we're sat in the shade. So we're probably going to sit here for a few minutes. I would like some ice cream because I love ice cream on holiday. So maybe we'll try and find some ice cream. We did make some to-go cocktails, shall we call it. 
I don't know why, but we didn't want to throw away the whiskey, so we made some mixes. So want to drink that. Zara is open. There's Giorgio Armani over there. Zara is here. So we're going. Aircon and Zara. Some shirts. I don't think I want. The Dior Cafe. That's why she's taking a picture in there. shops and stuff so we've come back to the hotel we're sitting in the reception i need aircon <laughs> i'm just sitting with a view of the sea from here let me show you guys so you can see there's the sea okay, over there we did meet a couple yesterday who said that they were in on a yacht in Cairns the day before yesterday so we were hoping that maybe they knew somebody who could get us on a get us on a boat but they didn't so <laughs> i don't know that it's gonna happen this time round but it has definitely been nice to get away i'm definitely looking forward to getting home to our boys now keep randomly thinking of them or things that they do <laughs> and stuff so I'm really excited to see them and get things going. We're going to be going to Legoland next week. So taking my older son so he can run around. So that should be fun. From the walking that we did earlier, I do feel a bit like I need to sleep. But I'm going to sleep on the plane. And hope, and on the way home. And hopefully that will be enough for me to get back into my mid duty. And I'm so, I'm going to be so grateful for them to like feed that my boobs can go down because they have been driving me insane but overall i think it's been a really good trip i've had so much fun it's all everything's moved very fast so i've tried my best to capture everything that i can um but for the two nights that we were here i think we managed to stuff it with as much as we can which is all we can ask for really so we're probably going to go to the pier. If we do, I will show you some of the, the lovely boats. And hopefully we'll get some ice cream. And then we'll make our way back up here. So that we can make our way to the airport. Mm -hmm. 